so like same language same type of things are there we will be going on the same direction that value relevance and uh, equity today we'll talk about the question paper that we conducted this saturday and uh, we'll see how we can approach this particular question paper right so as we can see this is the first question how uh, discuss how the public choice theory promotes the concept of steering and undermines the concept of rowing in visualizing efficient and effective administration right so this is the question so uh, what i will say is in this question that uh, whenever we are having uh, questions in front of us so first of all uh, we should be noting down like what is the keywords of this particular question so if we are looking into so we are uh, look, uh, able to see that the focus of the question is on public choice theory directly right so uh, it will be better idea if we will be explaining the public choice theory briefly in the introduction just like what this theory is talking about uh, let's say uh, it's it talk about the alternate authorities and it is you know uh, talking about the role for the market and instead of like having only the uh, state as the service provider some other stakeholders will be the civil society organization will be there market will be there they will be also you know uh, uh, coming into picture i'm not talking about the question but i'm talking about the public uh, idea of public choice theory right now the question discuss how public choice theory promotes the concept of steering and undermine the concept of rowing in visualizing efficient and uh, effective administration right so uh, since we have already explained in the introduction what is pc or pct right so here now we will be talking about and it will be a better idea if you can use heading also how the pct uh, promotes the concept of steering and undermining the concept of rowing so here you will be writing that uh, state if the state is directly involved uh, in providing services to the uh, people then it will be overburdened and uh, you know the uh, checks and balances mechanism will be compromising because the state will be the service provider and it will be also the you know uh, bringing about the efficiency and bringing about the checks on the service provider so it will be better idea that someone else is providing services and someone else is there to check right so and the main idea why it is promoting the steering is that state is having so many functions to perform and it is having limited time because we are having all so many sectors in the economy so state cannot you know jump into all the sectors directly so it is advisable that it will be steering it will be formulating the policies it will be formulating the broad guidelines and uh, undermining the concept of rowing right so that meaning that directly you will not be involved into providing services okay and so the, you explain that what is the meaning of steering and concept rowing then we, this is also important that we are focusing on this in visualizing efficient and effective administration so every time when we will be talking about the steering over rowing we will talk about that it will be able to bring about it will be having the potential to bring about the efficiency and effective administration okay sir here can we talk about this public interest groups and uh, like how exactly public interest group like uh pressure pressurizing the state to bring in the more efficient characteristics of any scheme or something but uh, actually this is about the steering uh, and undermining so see uh, if you are talking about the pressure groups right suppose so it will be like suppose a state is uh, into the rowing state is directly providing the services then also the role of pressure groups will be equally important and if the state is just um, you know dealing with the steering only then also a uh, role of um, pressure group will be equally important so i don't think that is um, you know that suitable uh, that you can write but on the lines of it if you will be able to uh, fit then then it is advisable that even for example you can add the pressure groups ideas this way that uh, if other serv- other pro- service providers will be providing the services right for example a uh, ppp model we are having okay and the private players are constructing the roads so the pressure groups will be there in the market so they will be exposing the work done by the private players then it may be helping like the state will be formulating certain you know the check mechanism 
because uh, we can say state will not be having all eyes to look into each and every work so civil society organization will be helping in checking that work so that way we can fit definitely right so i hope this is making good sense yes sir right now we have <coughs> the npa has seriously jolted the second question npa has seriously jolted the traditional concept and outlook of the discipline and enrich the subject by imparting wider perspective by linking it closely to the society okay so basically <coughs> this question is again just like the previous was based on the pct it is directly on the npa that is new public administration so we know that uh, uh, what was the background of uh, coming up of new pa in uh, npa in the, in the picture right so we are aware of that first minibrook conference took place in 1968 okay and the that minibrook conference was emphasizing on the changing role of society changing nature of society i mean to say right so what was taking place there that uh, we were having the issue of poverty we were having the issue of uh, recession unemployment all those issues were going on on uh, during that period right so <coughs> it was felt it was realized that the traditional public administration is not in a position to uh, you know deal with all the emerging issues so now the npa is coming into picture and npa is coming up with the new ideas what were the new ideas like the equity like the relevance and the value that if the state is providing services to the people it should be having equity like you cannot just provide the services uh just you are for the sake of providing services and it is not uh, bringing about the equi equity in the society it is not bringing about the fair justice mm -hmm. and then relevance i mentioned like what kind of policies you are making now it has become important that it should be relevant to the people mm -hmm. and value should be also there that value component should be also taken place so that way theek hai to now we understood ki what is this npa and what idea is this promoting now i'll read the question again npa seriously jolted the traditional concept and outlook of discipline and enriched the subject by imparting wider perspective so how will we fitting that information we'll be supporting this ki since the npa was coming up during the time of uh, issues when the society was facing so it is gave the serious jolt to the traditional concept what was the traditional concept kind of mechanistic concept kind of like one side flow uh, flow of idea in the one direction only like state is just providing without sense of two way communication yeah we can say that like uh, it was not a sensible kind of administration we can say it was not aware kind of uh, administration and uh, the state was not aware of the ground realities of people what people are facing so that way npa gave the serious jolt and it says now the relevancy is there relevancy is important so that way we can uh, agree that theek okay? hai we'll talk about an outlook of discipline and enriched the subject so like same language same type of things are there we will be going on the same direction that value relevance and the uh, equity theek okay? hai and social justice also you can talk about and wider perspective so same con concept it is not having any part actually this question is not having any are you agreeing to that because it is not having any part just like this hai na the only one idea First that you are can be how does it separate its traditional like new values from that of traditional concept and then uh, this uh, bringing in the equity ah, that way you will right but the idea is flowing in the same direction like hmm. you are just talking about the features of np and how it is giving serious jolt and how it is you know uh, outlook of discipline is uh, you know changing and how it is enriching so ideas of np are same and it is bringing about this also this also this also we are just confirming and the uh, answer can be completed this way and we should also note amon um, i uh, earlier also i mentioned that in case of optional answers we are not supposed to write the introduction body right. and the conclusion necessary but we are supposed to give the uh, solution to the problem that's all right so uh, now we will have this uh, uh, question and this question is a very famous type of question and very relevant question that we can say so here we have even after 135 year of its publication woodrow wilson essay the study of uh, administration continues to have great relevance even today so it is uh, because of a particular reason okay 
and uh, we are aware of this why this statement is being made right so you you just can you give your insight like what is your understanding uh, why it is being said that even after 135 years of its public, uh, publication it is important so basically uh, in our classes we discuss that woodrow wilson was giving the concept of political administration dichotomy and that political administration dichotomy was what that when the public administration was em uh, emerging out of the mother discipline that is political uh, political science so it was uh, argued that uh, what is the need of having a new discipline called public administration since the uh, objective of political science is to bring about the welfare of the people by establishing you know relevant authority legitimate authority and setting the rules and regulations all that political science is already uh, having that so ultimately political science is also having the objective as welfare of the people public administration will be also having welfare of the uh, objective so what is the difference why we why we need any new discipline called public administration so at that point of time woodrow wilson uh, came up with that particular essay that is study of administration and in that essay he was highlighting that the political questions are different and the administrative questions are different the problems of politics and the administration are different and we can agree to this we, we can see for example uh, <clears throat> let's say government is coming up with any particular policy okay for example agnipathi scheme we can talk about okay so agnipathi scheme can be brought because of the political reasons right and uh, it may uh, will be mainly dealing with the policy making part right but implementation is the work of administration so how you can say that uh, po political science is there then it will be it is sufficient to you know deal with the uh, all the affairs implementation also execution part execution part so definitely particularly a specialized domain is required for this uh, like implementation and execution part so these were the argument of uh, woodrow wilson okay so political administration dichotomy he is saying that politics is different administration is different now question is saying even after 135 years of its publication woodrow wilson essays the study of which continues to have great relevance even today because today also there is issue between the politics and administration we are not having very uh, you know water tight separation still things are overlapping still issues are going on what is the work of politics what is the work of administration so that way can we say that it is you know uh, having the equal relevance theek okay? hai so that is the logic number 1 the other logic is that wilson talks about that public administration is about or administration is about science of administration so science of administration is still evolving is still you know uh, dealing with or uh, yeah science of administration is one that uh, here all the aspect that we are having within the public administration it is using the scientific principles it is you know utilizing various theories given by various thinkers so that way we can say that it is having it and <clears throat> more over the most importantly he talked about that the public administration is just like the business okay so if he is highlighting public administration is like business so can we agree to that that the this essay is having you know continues uh, relevance even today yes. because uh, ultimately you are the ias officer okay so uh, you will be working for the organization right so your goal will be also to manage the uh, resources effectively and ultimately bring about the profit to the organization so that we can say that yes what he was saying that public administration is like business so it is that and moreover uh gulek and arbic talks about the porscop right planning organizing uh, reporting directing coordinating all those so are we not implementing uh, incorporating all those principles in the public administration we yeah. are we are definitely so that we can say that ki yes what he mentioned that public administration like business it is reflecting even today right so uh we'll talk about uh the we'll discuss about these type of questions later on also and uh, this is all for today right we'll be talking about other questions later on